This is Scott with Learn to Stop Hunger, and today we're going to look at how to create a simple DVD with Adobe Premiere Elements. If you go ahead and launch Premiere Elements, and I've actually got Premiere Elements 11 here, um, the first thing I would do is go to the video editor and do a new project. It's going to take a minute to load here. All right, so we've got our new project here, and I'm going to resize my window a bit here so it's a little bit easier to view. Now a lot of times um, I don't necessarily want actually the preset settings for the project so I'm going to go ahead and redo my new project here. I'm going to do file new project and that's going to give me the option to uh, choose some of the default settings here that I want. I'm going to call this Projects DVD because it's going to be a DVD of various video clips of projects that I've worked on. I'll click on Change Settings and I happen to know that I recorded my videos uh, using a standard definition and I'm just going to go ahead and do the standard 48 kilohertz. Do OK. Typically, I do this for selected project settings, and I'm going to click OK. So now I should be ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and add my videos. I'll click Add Media, and then Files and Folders because I've got some videos on the files and folders here. And let's see, I've got my videos under. A different place which I've got to go find. Go out here and find this and let's see here. And I got my project videos. So these are my three videos that I want. I'm going to go ahead and say open. It's going to add my videos. And you should be able to see all of them on the timeline down here. Now, uh, the next step that I want to do, I kind of like to have a, a little title on each of these clips. So you can go to Titles and Text and pick something out. And there are a lot of options. Um, if you go under here, Actually, if you've got HD videos, you probably want to go under HD templates, but these are standard definition videos. So, let's see. Take a look at what we've got available here. We've got a comic book option, we've got fun, and flowers, grid. Ladybug, Picture Cube, Prime Time. We'll go ahead and go with that one. That looks pretty decent. So what you need to do is drag it up here to the text area, and I want it, these at the beginning of each clip. And it looks like I don't actually have this uh, this particular template downloaded. And when this occurs. It's going to go ahead and go through a process of downloading that template for you. So we'll have to wait a minute here while it does that. And it's already done. That's good news. Um, so what I would want to do is actually put my title here. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. This one is Main Cabinet is the name of my video clip. So we'll do that. 
then we're going to want to do a similar thing for some of these other clips here. Drag this one out. And this is my second clip. I want to go to the right to the beginning of the second clip. And this one will be solar power. Alright. Now for the final clip, go ahead and pull this over. It's going to go up here, right at the beginning of the clip again. And this one will be um, digital counter. Alright, so now I have titles on each of my clips, and the next step that I want to take is to add a menu for my DVD. So in order to do that, you got to go up here to the Tools menu, and go to Movie Menu. So I'm going to do that, and then you have to pick a menu theme to start out here. We'll take a look at Entertainment. And let's see. Look at some of our other options here. We got general. Let's take a look at general. I guess, um, okay, so actually. This one looks like it kind of goes with the theme that we already have for the title, so let's go with that. Click Continue. And similarly to the actual uh, text titles, I don't have this content available, so it's going to download it from online. So we're going to have to wait a minute for that to download here. All right, our menu has downloaded now. And the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and you see this item here it says add your media here you can either put a video or um, an image there I've got an image that I want to use so we'll go out here and grab it okay it's a picture of computer electronics and then here's our title for our DVD which I can I can change. We'll just go ahead and call this Scott's Projects. All right, that's going to be my title. And then the screen looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and go to the Scenes menu and. We got each of my scenes there. Um, my text. There we go. Double click on each one and you can change the text. So I'm just going to make it the same as those other titles that I had. Name Cabinet. All right. One thing that's interesting to note here, if you uh, want a different thumbnail image, you can actually come in here and change the, the time within the video for the thumbnail. So that's kind of cool. So we'll hit OK. And actually, this has me wondering now about just looking at that preview. Well, I'm going to need to come back and double check these because I've I'm seeing that all these say title goes here, so I'm wondering about that if I if my title actually got saved. So this one was solar power. And then this one was digital counter. All 
All right, we'll hit OK. And that's really all I need to do for my menu. So I'll click Done. And yes, it does look like, for whatever reason, my title was not saved. So I need to go in and type that again. We'll go ahead and do that. So MAME cabinet. And this time, let's click outside of there. Hopefully that's going to take care of it. We're still seeing MAME cabinet there. If I click on this one. This was solar power. And just for the heck of it, I'm clicking back on that just to double check, and I see that still says MAME cabinet. All right, click back over here, and that still says solar power. All right, and then this one I need to modify. This was digital counter. Let's just check those one more time. Yeah, solar power and main cabinet and digital counter. All right, so at this point, pretty much wrapped up with that. I'm going to go ahead and save my project. And I am ready to publish a disk, so I got to go to publish and disk. Alright, so I took these videos in standard definition, my menus and everything are standard definition. I want to go with a DVD and I'm going to burn to a disc and I need to make sure that I've got a blank disc in there. Once I've got that in there all I need to do is click the burn button. So I'm going to go ahead right now and drop a disk into my drive. We'll take a look here. I know before, previously when I've done this, sometimes you'll have to hit the rescan button before this burn button will come up. So we'll see here. All right, it looks like our disk is loaded. Oh, another thing worth mentioning. Let's change. I like to change the disk title. It's not real critical, but it's a nice to have, I think. So you may want to do that. I'm going to make that Scott's Projects. I'm going to do rescan now since my my disk is in the computer. There we go, looking good. And actually, okay, so this shows you too. Um, how much space is required? Only 534 megs. So obviously, you know, I think a DVD is like 4.7 gigs. So we could fit a lot more videos on here if we had them. It just happens this time I only have three. So we're going to go with that. And we click the burn button. And then uh, when you click burn, you're going to come to this progress bar here. And it's going to go through several different items and I'd say you know the more video and more menus that you have the longer it's going to take and of course that's going to be dependent on the power of your computer as well and once you're completed you will get a message saying that your DVD is ready and that's really all there is to it so hopefully this video has proven helpful to you and in the near future you will be creating some nice looking DVDs with Adobe Premiere Elements.